Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be here and to uh, explain you a little bit about Huawei's capability to provide solutions to railways and to address this conference with this very special topic, innovative ICT solution for GCC railways. So the railways in the Middle East or everywhere in the world have to face many challenges. And we are going to list here as an introduction some of them. One of the first challenges is how to ensure efficient communication capabilities to ensure that the staff which works for the railways can efficiently communicate with each other. How also do we allow the staff to uh, communicate in real time and to share these information? And how also do we ensure that these communication facilities are reliable? Is it in that way? Probably not, or not anymore. <laughs> So we need also to face another challenge. This is actually to uh, make some critical and fundamental railway applications for railways. We talked a little bit about it this morning regarding train control signaling, but we can also think about how to face the challenges when you have long trains with locomotive synchronizations or how to monitor, and we talked about it as well this morning, how to monitor efficiently all the sensitive locations of the railways. Another challenge, and this is more specific to the Middle East, will be actually the two you see here. The first one, the conditions, environmental conditions. And the second one, how to ensure that all the GCC countries will interwork. So that's also a challenge that needs to be addressed by the Middle East railways. And very specific to the cargoes, how to improve threat security. This is also one big challenge. Another challenge is how to control the environment. And when I'm talking about environment here, it's the locations, what's going on around the track side, and also about the goods that are transported and carried over the freight. So to address these challenges, the new technologies, information and telecommunication technologies, have some solutions. The first one, the GSMR. We have been talking about it already this morning during the panel discussion. This GSMR is the first solution that will help actually the railways to ensure the staff communication. So between the people who work in the railway system, you will have the ability to send messages have voice communications, point-to-point -point calls, group calls. This is due, this is done thanks to GS, GSMR. GSMR will improve the train's operations because the people can talk in real time and also have some more control of, on what's going on in the track. Combined with TTCS, it gives us the ERTMS and we talked about it already extensively this morning, but what I would like to add about it is that there is also another standard called CTCS3. C stands for China. So it's quite similar to ETCS. E in ETCS stands for Europe. And it's absolutely, in terms of requirement, quality of service, the same. So GSMR could also be combined in Asian countries and particularly in China with CTCS3 which is the equivalent of ETCS2. Some critical applications like trend synchronization can be also addressed through the GPRS layer of GSMR. So the GPRS part of a GSMR network is made by boxes which carry the data communications and not the voice communication. So basically some data is like speed control, trend synchronization, can be sent over this GPRS. And this is one of the solutions that can help the railway operators to face the challenge to carry data over networks. Now about the Middle East specific situation. We've seen that we have to connect many countries, basically here the six GCC countries, that need to be interconnected one to each other. And of course, with this very interesting and the tremendous project to link by railways all these countries, 
we'll have to face actually the interoperability question. The railway operators, let's take an example, Etihad Railway and Saudi Railways, they will have at some point to interconnect. That will be at the, bond, at the border of the two countries. And also, the people on board, and particularly the railway users, the GSMR users, will need to have this capability to carry on with the ongoing calls and also to pass calls wherever they are. And this is possible thanks to the roaming feature implemented in GSMR. And in the same way, the commercial operators that everyone knows allows to their subscribers to go to another country and to still pass calls. This concept exists also in GSMR. This is what we call the roaming. And thanks to GSMR roaming, then, the GCC railways can be able to, will be able to have this cross-border voice communication system. Another challenge listed in the beginning is the specific situation with regards to temperature, humidity. Here we have, as Huawei, a very interesting solution based on outdoor BTSs, which have been designed in such a way that they support extreme conditions. These BTSs have been widely deployed already in the Middle East for non-railway customers. Actually, Huawei is doing that for wireless operators in this country, UAE, wireless operators like Do and Etisalat, but also in Saudi Arabia for Mobile STC. So this kind of antennas, outdoor BTSs, have been designed in such a way that they can be deployed in hot desert conditions and also humidity. So we have here one of the solutions which can help the railway operators to face the challenge of the environment. So all GSMR solution is made as following. You have the different components, beginning by the base stations, the radio part, sing, sing, all the radio communications go through um, these antennas, which are connected to the upper layer, beginning by the BSC layers, and then the core network, together with the database, the HLRs. Here, the very important thing to understand is that in our solution, in our package, everything, every single important component is redundant. So we provide a full geo-redundant solution, which is based on the features you can see here. This is the commercial name of the features, but the concept is the following. Any single component is fully redundant. Internally, first, with the vital component of each vital card inside one single equipment, and also every single equipment is geographically duplicated in another location. Then in case one fails, the other can take over automatically. So this is one of our strengths, and uh, we help the railway operators to address this challenge with this reliable network solution. So that's a highlight of our features. On the BTS side, we have what we call the distributed BTS, which is based on the hardware I mentioned before. This hardware is actually designed in such a way that it faces the environmental conditions, but when it comes to the technology inside, we have the ability to support many kind of systems, whatever it is GSMR or not. This is a very compact solution and with a full redundancy scheme. When it comes to the BSC on the upper layer, we have also a unique feature called the Duo Location BSC. So we are the first in the industry to implement this geographical redundant BSC. In case one BSC is failing, then the other will take over automatically. And the very important thing here is that there is no manual intervention. So this cutover and the switchover will be done automatically. Then in case of disaster, the disaster recovery plan for the operator will be easier and quicker. And of course, this is a factor of cost saving. So what we can highlight here is that Huawei got 
the most modern GSMR portfolio of the market with a full redundancy scheme. And we take the experience of our large deployment in the 2G, 3G, 4G networks for wireless operator. And we are able here for the railways to duplicate this concept. So how to make critical applications such as video surveillance, passenger information, highly available without any interruption of service? Huawei does provide this transmission and data communication networks. A data communication transmission network is based on a lot of components. So you have in this figure all the components that will be involved in the transmission of the data. So the final application is here. That could be, for example, the video surveillance cameras that are deployed all along the track side. These cameras will send data all over this transmission system. So this transmission system is made by devices, switches, routers, that you've got. You can have also, at some point, final servers, which stores this data and this information. You can have also firewalls. Huawei is very proud, actually, to provide all this set of equipments to help the railway operators, in addition to GSMR, to build up also a reliable transmission system. So for more information about our portfolio, I strongly suggest the audience also to go to our booth, where you have experts for each kind of product who will describe you more into details or portfolio, and you have also some brochures which describes that more into detail. Now, because we are in this threat session, I would like also to highlight some challenges to face for cargo and threat. So how to improve threat security and how to control the environment? How we do that with this solution based on CCTV video surveillance systems. As mentioned this morning by the Egyptian National Railway Director, you have to face sometime some sensitive location where happens some robbery or which are very sensitive for any other reason. So in order to monitor this very sensitive area, Huawei have put in place a solution of video surveillance based on a product which is the camera CCTV, and we have many kind of CCTVs, camera, that you can also um, di discover in our booth. We have a, a CCTV demonstration, so I strongly invite you to have a look at this solution. Basically here, the network surveillance is done with this solution, and then we can implement it in any sensitive location. So finally, another challenge is the transportation optimization. What I wanted to explain here, it's basically how to integrate the transportation systems between each other. So for sure, as we seen this morning, the HHR line for Etihad phase one will bring sulfur from the mine to the coast where it can be bring into some boats to be sent over any other location. So they have at some point to communicate. It had a railway, I have to communicate with the other entity, which is the boat system. How to do that? Well, we propose what we call the smart rail solution, which is a kind of integration of the different databases of both parties unified into a cloud computing system. And in that way, the tracking of the, inform the information, the goods, everything will be stored, which makes actually the operation of moving from one transportation system to another more efficient and more cost effective. This solution is called Huawei Smart Rail. What I said also applies for airlines transportation companies. 
Now a few words about Huawei. Huawei is the fastest growing company in the telecoms and hired more than 130,000 employees all over the world with headquarters and branch offices in all continents and almost all countries. We have a lot of R&D people, so more than 40% of the employees are involved in R&D and make research and development. So we have a lot of partners which are quite important in the market and also telecom partners. So here, this is basically the area that we do cover. We cover the mobile communication, we cover the IP network solutions, and we cover the fixed telecom systems. You can see here the ranking comparing to our competitors in the three areas. But what is quite important to keep in mind is that we can provide the whole thing. And this is unique, and we want to help the railways to take the benefit of the latest telecommunication and ICT technologies with our exper expertise we have being the leaders, being the leader in wireless IP and transmission network. So who are we strongly committed to the Middle East railways? First of all, we are the top number one equipment supplier when it comes to telecom in the Middle East. And you have here a list of customers to whom we provide already our 2G, 3G, 4G networks. We have 10 branch offices serving 13 countries. And our staff is more than 3,000 people in all the Middle East. And when I say the Middle East, it's GCC plus Iraq and Jordan. Particularly in the UAE, just to show you an example, we have been strongly involved since 2003 for our customer Etisalat, with whom we have more than a commercial relationship. We have actually a real partnership in order to improve, to have a strategical view of the telecom business in UAE. And as you know, Etisalat has got an MOU with Etihad Rail. So we are quite proud also to be very close to Etisalat. And as part of that deal, we hope to be able to be also giving to Etihad Rail a lot of our expertise. Some milestone about our GSMR solution. We have been doing that since 2002, starting with some works doing in the R&D and getting step by step till this achievement. We are quite a leader in, when it comes to innovation. We have been the first one to implement the soft switch GSMR core network in 2006, the first one to launch the concept of distributed BTS, which is unique to Huawei still now, in 2008. We have been the first one also to launch the HRC LTE solution, which is a kind of evolution of what we've got currently in the railways, which helps the operators to implement passengers' information and passenger applications inside the trains based on LTE technologies. So here we use the state-of-the-art systems that we put in place for wireless operators and we give it to the railways in order to help them to make money out of it. Over the last 12 months, we've got more than 2,000 kilometers of new GSMR line that have been awarded to Huawei, which is a sign of the success of Huawei in this market. We have been promoting GSMR as well as other technologies in the standardization bodies. We have been quite a leader in these patents, publications, and all the standardization work. So we are members of all these standardization uh, bodies that you, you see. And I would like to mention particularly the railways one, uh, which are actually in the TGPP, the TCRT. Arin Group, which is actually the body which is in charge to standardize GSMR. So we are actively working at this uh, ATSI group, which actually is the European Telecommunication Standard Institute group. 
which is also in charge to standardize GSMR. So we have quite a vision about the future as well, quite a good vision about the future. We are at this level, GSMR, and from GSMR, there will be a stream which is going to what everyone thinks will be LTE for Huawei. But until now, there is some steps, and Huawei has already got a strong knowledge and a strong experience on LTE. We are a leader in this technology. So together with GSMR, at some point, there will be a kind of convergence. And we have a vision about the convergence. For sure, it's going to happen in the next decade, but we'll be quite a leader in this. And we have already a quite a good understanding about what will be the future. So in order to anticipate the future, then we have made some strategical partnerships. Amongst these partnerships, I would like just to mention this one, the one we have with uh, the Spanish railways, which have been awarded recently the contract for the Haramein line, HHR, in Saudi Arabia. So Adif is part of the Spanish consortium. We are part also of the evolution uh, lab of Adif, which is set up in Malaga. So we have this agreement with Adif to collaborate in their research and development projects when it comes to GSMR, but also to the evolution I mentioned just before, LTE for railways. So we are quite proud of this trust of ADIF and this partnership set up recently last year in September. I would like to mention to you our case we have in China about the Dechin line. The Dechin line is a cargo line which is transporting coal from Dachin, the city, to uh, the coast. And we have here more than 2,700 2, meters long trains. So there will be here a big challenge, of course, to synchronize the locomotives, the one which is on the front, the one which is on the hand. And this is done through GPRS. So this is a very interesting case. Through GPRS, which is the data communication layer of GSMR, we have implemented a solution to synchronize the speed of the front and the end locomotive. We do that on a daily basis on this very busy line, and that's something which has been interesting for me to mention here. Since GSMR GPRS is in place on this line, the activities has increased as you can see on the last bullet point. This is finally our footprint all over the world. References in China, in Australia, North Africa, Europe, including GSMR, transmission, SDH, CCTV, and all the portfolio we do provide to the railways. So for more information about our portfolio, I strongly invite, suggest, and I invite you to go on our booth to have more details about the portfolio we've got. Thank you for your attention.